Okay, this, uh, this next man, I think his poem escaped a lot of attention uh, when we first did this. Um, it was one of my favorites of the group, but uh, very few people heard it that night, so hopefully you'll hear it tonight, and, or this afternoon. And um, it's a takeoff on Edgar Allan Poe, and the uh, poet is uh, Jim Conte. This is a flight of our crane because, as I said that night at Barry, it always reminded me of an attractive uh, stork like or heron like or crane. <laughs> <laughs> but there's apologies to another bird as, as Wayne has, has let on. So here we go. <clears throat> now cometh truly a certain pity that never more will be heard throughout this city. The familiar, pleasant type of ditty in cadenced phrases, profound yet witty for our own true laureate departed forevermore. To what verbal heights might he yet aspire if we could yet our gallant sonneteer rehire? But quoth he in terms of blazing fire, nevermore. So as this year winds down to a cold December and all hope of a new laureate we surrender, alas, N. Barry stands as alone a left us to remember evermore. Still dare we yet dream of his returning for special occasions with his rhymes of burning into the souls of his loyal colleagues left yearning. Uh, it is doubtful, for his weary countenance shows that he's been feverishly learning, again, that dreaded and final word, nevermore. 